everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine and also welcome back to another very questionable hairdo. <laughs> I've just washed my hair and just stuck it on the top of my head for it to dry a little bit. I'm going to just let it dry naturally so I'll let it down soon anyway. Um, I'm wearing my Megan Nielsen Cara top that I finished yesterday made in this gorgeous tiger print fabric from Fox and the Bear with the neckband which is a contrast. I think that's much better than having it um, with a tiger print as well. So yeah, really like this outfit. Just out of breath again because I've just run up and down the stairs. Yeah, had a bit of a later start to the day today. It's nearly half 11 actually. I've been up since early or awake since early, but just had a bit of a lazy start to the day and that is absolutely fine. I am in a positive mood again today, which is good. The sun is shining again, which always helps. So how are you all doing? I hope you are coping with everything that's going on and finding ways to relax and keep yourselves busy and creative and whatever it is that you are choosing to do with your time. I hope you're enjoying it. Today's plans, um, have I got any? <laughs> As I keep saying, I must get started on this Tabitha t-shirt dress. I really should. I've got a little pile of fabrics that I showed you yesterday that I'm just going to overlock the cut edges of before I go and put those into the wash. The only one I'm not doing that with is the pink floral jersey from New Craft House because that won't fray in the wash, but the others possibly will. So I'm just going to overlock the cut edges of those. And I said I was going to have a little tidy up, didn't I? And I didn't do that. So perhaps I really should do these things that I keep saying I'm going to do. I think I just feel a little bit like strange because potentially I'm now off work for weeks and weeks and weeks. I will be working from home where I can, but obviously there's not tons of stuff to do every single day. So my usual working hours that I would be at school I don't have work that I can do that would fill all of that time so obviously I do have a lot more spare time therefore I don't feel like there's a rush to get things done. I am starting to feel a little bit like I should be getting more things ready for the baby so somebody mentioned earlier to me about getting my hospital bag ready which I hadn't even considered to be honest because I'm still three and a half months away from my due date or just over that, 7th of July is my due date. So I hadn't even really thought about my hospital bag, but obviously there's the potential that I could go into labor early. So I should get my hospital bag sorted. So then I thought I should treat myself to a nice hospital bag. So I had a little look on Kath Kidston and there's some, a couple of nice ones and I've put one into my basket, but then I thought, shall I make one? Seeing as I've got extra time and it would just be special. I mean, the Kath Kidston one, something like £34, reduced from 65 so it's a bargain. And I probably would spend that on the materials and the pattern to make my own anyway, but it would just be so much more special if I made my own. So if you have any bag recommendations for quite a sizeable, like, overnight bag, then please leave them down below because I would be really interested in having a little look at what is available and deciding if I'm going to go ahead and do that. It'd be a nice little project to get my teeth into and I could choose some really awesome fabric to do that with. Maybe some space print fabric would be cute. I'm going to go and overlock the edges of this fabric then I can put some in the pre-wash. I think I might be expecting a couple more parcels today, possibly, then have a little tidy up. I'll be back. Hi everyone, um, so it's evening time, it's 20 past six and I've done precisely nothing sewing related all day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I ended up kind of sitting on the sofa and reading quite a lot and scrolling through my phone, which isn't great, I suppose, <laughs> and watching a bit of TV with Sam. We've been watching The Inbetweeners, which we've watched so many times before, we, but we love it. So we decided to start watching it from the beginning again, just for a bit of light relief because I was starting to feel a little bit down again this afternoon. So we just thought we'll put the in-betweeners on and it'll make me laugh and it did. So yeah, I've been enjoying that. So now I am actually gonna start doing some sewing related stuff. I'm going to trace off the patterns that I need for my Tabitha t-shirt dress, for my 
collaboration with Juliet. So I'm going to film myself doing that so it'll be up as like a time lapsey thing. You can see me tracing those off and then cutting out the fabric and things. I'm making it a little bit complicated for myself because I'm not just doing the standard pattern as it is. I'm going to add some gathers down the sides of where my bump is to just allow for some extra growth. I'm also going to use two different fabrics combined so that's going to add some extra steps as well. I'll talk about all of that in, in proper detail in the video on Sunday but yeah it's not just a straightforward trace it off and you're done. <laughs> I need to think about the changes that I'm going to make and adding those in as well so yeah I'm going to go off and do that now. Welcome back. It is Saturday morning and I think the last thing you saw me doing was doing some tracing out and cutting out of my pattern pieces ready for, to make my Tabitha t-shirt dress. That's all I did last night. We then had some dinner and watched some TV. So yeah, I didn't do anything else sewing related last night. I, oh, I did iron the fabric ready, so I've got that ready to get cutting out this morning. It is... 10 to 11. Had a bit of a lazy morning again. Been reading, finished another book and I've chosen my next one. So yeah, I'm really enjoying having a lot of time on my hands to read. It's great. The postman has just been and delivered a parcel for me. I opened it. I then washed my hands. <laughs> I got some fabric yesterday as well. So I thought I would show you all of those before I crack on with the day. So the fabric that arrived yesterday was from the Frugal Fabric Shop, which I mentioned. It's a beautiful cotton and it's just these beautiful, beautiful colours. It's got a very vintage look to it. And the background of the fabric is, it's not plain white, it's got a beautiful floral design on it. So yeah, it's just absolutely stunning. I had to have it as soon as I saw this. I got three metres and I think I'm actually going to make the Suki robe by Helen's Closet to have as my hospital dressing gown when I go in to have the baby. So yeah, I just think that I'll make a really lovely robe. Really light. Somebody was messaging me yesterday, um, the lady that does my nails actually, usually she's pregnant as well, and she was saying that the maternity ward at the hospital is really really hot so she said don't bring like a fluffy dressing gown or something too hot like you need light pajamas and a nice lightweight dressing gown so i think this will be absolutely perfect for that so pretty it's just so pretty then i had placed an order with sew me sunshine the other day so if you get love sewing magazine you will have seen that you got a 15% discount code in that magazine and I thought I would take advantage of that and place a little order again trying to support these small businesses through these tricky times but also you know inspiring me with some new fabrics so I picked up this cord which is like a teal colour but it was described on the website as sea green I think sea foam green it's slightly darker than I expected it to be, but it's still gorgeous. I really like it. So I just got a metre and a half of that and I'm going to make some sort of pinafore with that. I feel at the minute, because obviously I'm pregnant and my body's changing, everything I make is like stretchy and comfy, which is really important. But I just sort of want, want to make something a bit more structured. <laughs> so I'm going to make a pinafore I just need to think you know what size I'm going to make it in and how I'm going to make sure that 
I get more than just a couple of weeks wear out of it. I really want to make a pinafore with that. Then I got a viscose, a metre and a half of viscose. I've really enjoyed seeing on Instagram the way people wear like a nice blouse with flouncy sleeves with a pinafore over the top. So Sam from Purple Sewing Cloud does that and looks amazing. And Paige from Paige Joanna, she does it as well and other people. But I just really like the look of that. And I thought this viscose would make a really pretty blouse to wear under that pinafore that I was just talking about there. So it's got a pale pink background and then it's got these really vibrant colours of flowers on. Again, it's got quite a vintagey look to it. It's just really pretty, gorgeous drape. Got a metre and a half again, so I think that with that will just make a really lovely outfit. Last but not least, I couldn't resist this. I've looked at it for a while and lilac is one of my favourite colours as I'm wearing today. This is my Megan Nielsen Cara top that I made recently. And this fabric has been on the Sew Me Sunshine website for a few weeks now and I've looked at it and thought oh, it's gorgeous, oh, but it's a bit too bold for me. And then when the 15% off code was there, I just thought I would go for it. So it's a linen viscose and it's this one. So it's really bold, probably much more bold than I would usually go for, but I just can't resist it. I love the sh obviously the shade of lilac in the background, but then these big bold leaves with the like mustard yellow and the blue. I just think it's stunning. Really, really lovely. So I got, I think two and a half meters of that. I'm going to make a shirt dress. I think the Olia shirt dress by Paper Theory patterns. Now I filmed a video last year when I first got that pattern, maybe September. And I did like a review of Paper Theory, the pattern company and getting ready to make that pattern. And I've got it cut out of some beautiful fabric from Blackbird Fabrics in Canada. It's all cut out, ready to go. And then it just got stashed underneath something and I completely forgot about it. And I only discovered it recently. I thought I really need to make that because it's a perfect pregnancy dress. The reason I bought it to start with at the, after the sewing weekend of last year was because Tara, who owns Paper Theory Patterns, was wearing one when she gave her talk at the sewing weekender and she was pregnant and it's just perfect. Really roomy and yeah, so I really need to get onto that. <laughs> so I should, yeah, I should really crack on. But I've got my Tabitha t-shirt dress to do today. That is the priority and then get that video filmed, ready to go up tomorrow. And then I think that Olya shirt dress should be my focus because that's going to be so gorgeous. And then once I've made one, hopefully I can then make a second one in this. The one that I've got cut out is in like a dark teal colour. So it's completely, and just plain, so it's completely different to this one. So yeah, I'll have two lovely shirt dresses that I can wear as the weather is warming up. Yes, must get on with that. Right, we are about to have sausage sandwiches. Sam's been organising that for me. So I'm going to go and do that and then start cutting out my fabric for my Tabitha t-shirt dress. So the next thing you'll see is probably a speeded up version, sped up, a time lapse of me cutting out my fabric. See you later. So I'm going to leave it there for today. It's now 10 to 1. I just looked down as if I was looking at my watch. I looked at my watch before. It's 10 to 1. I've had my sausage sandwich and I've been cutting out all of the pieces that I need for my Tabitha t-shirt dress. The next step is going to be to sew that. Hello. But I'm not going to record that because all of that information is going to go in tomorrow's video 
which is the collaboration video with Juliet. So keep watching for that tomorrow because I've adapted the pattern, changed it up a little bit. <laughs> you just want to be in my video. So yeah, there's going to be lots of useful information in that video for you, Ziggy. He's been a rascal. <laughs> Aren't you? So yeah, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to go off and start sewing my t-shirt dress. I hope you're all well and enjoying your day, whatever you are up to. And I'll see you again soon with my next video. Happy sewing. Bye. Maybe some space print fabric. <laughs>